Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu ignored reporters as he arrived at the White House late today for a meeting with President Obama. A moment of truth for any chance of negotiations to create an Israeli and a Palestinian state living side by side. That according to Shibli Telhami of the Sabin Center for Middle East Policy. Time is running out on the two-state solution, which remains the only viable solution and the only uh, solution that suits America's interests. Israel set back peace talks with the Palestinians by announcing it would build 1,600 new housing units in contested East Jerusalem, right in the middle of a visit by Vice President Biden. Former U.S. Ambassador to Israel Martin Indyk says that made the Obama administration look weak. The weakness comes from President Obama having declared as one of his highest priorities from day one of his administration, a resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He has yet to be able to show progress in that regard. What Indyk calls Israel's thoughtless actions angered a country Netanyahu claims as his closest ally. Israel shares with America everything, and I mean everything, that we know about fighting a new kind of enemy. When Israel builds new settlements, it turns not just the Palestinians, but the entire Arab world against U.S. foreign policy. The intensity of feelings in the Arab world is mostly related to this issue, and yes, that does play into the hands of militants. There's good reason why Middle East peace is a high priority, but right now it's all about damage control. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.